Mrs. Russ did not survive the rest of your life Unaware, oblivious, you couldn't be down And now you've given out Hey guys, I'm Fake, and before we get into the commentary, I wanted to thank and also introduce you guys to Plot, who is the, who is the owner of this gameplay in the background. Um, it's a pretty amazing gameplay. I met this guy about two or three weeks ago through Lampert. He actually um, tried to introduce me to recruit this guy into our clan, but he declined, which kind of sucks, but uh, he's still a really amazing person to play with, and uh, he's generally just like fun all around. and. You can see in this gameplay uh, just how amazing he is at sniping, and uh, I'm completely jealous because, as I've said over and over again, I'm no longer good at this game when it comes to sniping. Uh, apologies for the stutters, but I've been... Obviously, I haven't made a commentary in a while, and uh, that'll be a whole discussion for another time, but... I wanted to talk about gearing up for the new season, as um, we do have the major games coming out pretty soon. Black Ops 2, Halo 4, what have you. There's basically just a lot of the big titles coming out right around now in this holiday season, and um, there's lots of things that are on people's minds when it comes to equipment, or having to renew subscriptions, and uh, in my personal experience recently, over the past month or so, I've had to look for a new headset as my SteelSeries 4 XB that you've probably seen in my setup video were broken. Um, it wasn't really their fault. They are kind of made cheap, but I've been really good with taking care of my technology and you know all that sort of stuff but you know due to an unfortunate accident uh they were kind of broken <laughs> so uh for quite a while i was just running with those i put like mighty putty on them wasn't a very long lasting solution uh luckily though i was able to acquire some x12s courtesy of a good friend of mine he had just bought a new wireless headset and uh had these pretty much new X12s and it took a while to get them set up. I also have been using some A40s that are actually Tommy's. Um, if you weren't aware, Tommy hasn't been able to play Xbox for quite a long time, so I went ahead and borrowed his A40s. And obviously, they're amazing top of the line headsets, but for me, they're a little bit too heavy, and in general, they're just not really for me. <laughs> they're a little too big and too heavy for my head. So they kind of like wear me out after a while. But um, the X12s on the other hand are pretty perfect. The only thing I dislike is the control system. I'm pretty used to the little... Um, it's like a little attachment on my 4XBs that goes to my controller and there's just two dials, you know, pretty plain and simple. Obviously the audio quality is a lot better on these X12s, but uh, I eventually want to figure out a way to put my mixer amp thing on it because it's just a lot simpler and I've never really had to deal with any of like the complicated setups that these, you know, bigger headsets have. <laughs> but, um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was your guys' controllers. Um, I don't know how everyone else is, but I usually get irritated with my controllers, you know, their sticks becoming a lot looser and not as new as they were. Um, so I try to replace my controller about every two years now, but Obviously, if that's not within, you know, your budget or whatever, I would suggest cleaning them because over a year of gaming, it's pretty gnarly how much, you know, grossness can get in there. So just take them apart, clean them with like a toothpick or Q-tip. Um, you know, other than that, obviously, I want to know what guys, what you guys are going to be playing. Uh, Halo 4, there's a lot of footage out already. Machinima had their live stream, I believe, already. I wasn't able to watch it if it did occur. And if it hasn't occurred, then I don't know. I'm just out of the loop. <laughs> I watched some of the tape footage, and uh, it seems like something that I'm probably just gonna rent, you know, eventually, or buy a used copy for the campaign. I don't think I'm really interested in the Halo multiplayer as much as I was when I first started out gaming. Obviously, I grew up on Halo. Call of Duty was something that I never thought was for me at the beginning. But um, now I just think it's a little bit silly. I mean, they have the abilities again in multiplayer, which is not my thing. <laughs> I just like how simple everything was and I'm definitely going to be entertained with Call of Duty with the new Black Ops 2 coming out. I pre it already. Excited. A little bit confused too because I haven't been watching as much intel as other people might be. And uh, I see plot is just going on a rampage in the background. Um, you might even recognize one of his previous gamer one of his previous gamer tags, Plot714. He's been featured in quite a few top play episodes, and um, 
he also has this really, really amazing montage. Uh, the link's gonna be in the description, so just after you watch this, immediately go and watch that montage. It's kind of long, but the way he did it is really amazing, is that all like the standards of clips get better as it goes on, and uh, I don't mean to spoil it, but I'm just gonna say, free-for-all quad feeds with the sniper rifle is just beyond me how insane this guy is. And uh, he also has really good music in the background too, he listens to like lots of indie music, and so it's really interesting to hear what he puts, because I feel like I also have weird int interest in music. But um, you know, that's pretty much it. Plot runs out of ammo. That's how much of a beast he is. But um, once again, you know, let me know what games you guys are playing. If you guys have gotten any new equipment, and uh, you know, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Daniel Fake TM with plot in the background. The link to his channel and his montage are in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. See. Ya.